Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I apologize for the delay. Uh, Facebook would not let me get on. I don't know what was going on. So please tag, share, invite someone. Uh, we are going to get this done in a I'm sorry, in a, less than 30 minutes, less than 30 minutes. I uh, truly wanted to, good morning, good morning. I truly wanted to uh, be on at 8.30, but it would just not let me on. It wouldn't let me on. So I had to go in through Chrome. I couldn't go in through my Mac. It's just been quite an interesting morning, amen. So we're going to get straight into the word <clears throat> as we prepare to enter into 2018. We are letting it go. Amen. Somebody just hashtag that. We are letting it go. Let it go so that we can get what God has promised for us. Father, we thank you for this opportunity, Lord, to share your word this morning, to be in your presence this morning. God, to dwell into your word and to dwell and to delve into your word. God, we thank you that your word is your word is light. And we thank you for it. We thank you for Jesus this morning. We thank you, God, that there is no one like you. We thank you that in your presence is the fullness of joy and at your right hand are pleasures forevermore. We thank you for the pleasures that come from being in the presence of Jesus Christ. We thank you, God. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you that you are love. You are light. You are the way. You are the truth. You are the shepherd. You are the gate. You are the sacrifice. We thank you this morning for being the great I am in our lives. Lord, you are worthy and worthy to be praised. And we bless your name. So, Father, we know that your word is already blessed. Your word is already blessed. I pray that you bless me to share your word. God, put a special anointing on me this morning to break yokes, God, to set people free, God, through your word, God. I thank you for choosing me to be a vessel, God, worthy of honor, worthy of your glory, worthy to be used by you. We thank you and we love you, Daddy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, so Exodus chapter 4. Exodus chapter four, we are on the countdown to our freedom. We are on the countdown to our freedom. We are letting it go so that we can get what God has promised us in 2018 and absolutely for our lives, for our lives, not just for a year, but for our lives. 2017 is on its way out. Literally, you got two more days. Hallelujah. And it's done. It's done. You let I told you yesterday, the past can't tell you nothing. So count it done. Count it done. Count it behind you. Hallelujah. Count it uh, uh, just in the history books. Prayerfully, you learned something from it. Amen. You've learned something in 2017 that you can take as a lesson, thus becomes wisdom for 2017. 18. And so we thank God this morning for the wisdom, for the lessons that we have gained uh, in our lives, in our business, in our ministries, in our relationships. Hallelujah. And so Exodus chapter four. Now I had to do this a little differently. So uh, I'm on my Mac and forgive the glare. I'll take it off. So the word of the Lord says in Exodus chapter four, Moses answered, what if they do not believe me. Now we know coming in, coming into this scripture, geez, God has told Moses to go tell Pharaoh to let my people go. And uh, so Moses is having this conversation with the Lord, capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D. That means he was talking to God himself, the father. He was talking to Elohim, the creator of all things, Jehovah God. L, capital L, lowercase O-R-D, typically refers to Jesus. Position, lordship, um, uh, rule and reign, but cap all capital L-O-R-D is God himself. Okay, the omni God, the all omniscient, all knowing, all powerful, all wise God. So Moses is having a conversation with him. And so he says to him, uh, what if they don't believe me or listen to me? The Lord and they say the Lord didn't appear to you. What, what if they say that? What if people say to you, well, you, you that didn't happen. You, I mean, 
I know this Jesus thing, you know, you say you had an experience, you had an encounter, your life was changed, but I still see the old whatever your name is. Well, they going to still see some old whatever your name is because there's a part of you that's a part of your personality. There's a part of you that's a part of who you are and what you were born into. But that doesn't mean that you haven't changed because you've had an encounter and a conversation with the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And he says that your sins are forgiven. Listen, I want to start this out by reminding you that God said he will cast your sins as far as the east is from the west, and he will remember them no more. Now, let me ask you a question. Why you keep trying to remember them? And why you keep letting people try to make you remember? Come on, somebody. What is that? You must allow yourself to be free. You must allow yourself to be free so that you can become new. All things have passed away, free, behold, new. You must allow yourself, forgive yourself so that you can be free, so that you can experience the new. I know that's a tweetable. Y'all better get with the tweetables. Tag somebody, share, invite somebody to be a part. I believe this word is going to help someone to start their journey to being set free, made whole, walking in the purpose and the destiny that God has for your life. Why do you keep allowing yourself and the enemy to beat you up about your past? God has cast it as far as the east is from the west, and he has promised to not remember them. So why are you reflecting on the past? How he hurt you, how she hurt you, how he left you, how she left you. She took the house, she took the car, she took the money, she took the savings, she took the kids. Okay, okay, well, you may not want no more kids, but you get another house, you get another car, you get some more savings. But because you keep dwelling and allowing yourself to live in that space, in that place of bitterness, brother, man, woman of God, you keep allowing yourself to live there, you can't go free. You can't go free. You can't experience the new. So you got to cast it. You got to cast it and remember it no more. Don't go back to weak and miserable ways. Remember yesterday? Yesterday, Galatians chapter four. Don't go back. You, you who didn't know God, there's some things you did because you didn't know God. But now that you know God or preferably you are known by God, don't go back to those weak and miserable ways. So here in Exodus chapter four, starting in verse one through verse five, the first stanza of five, which is 5a, he says, what if they don't believe me? What if they don't believe me when I say that you sent me? Then the Lord said to him, what is it that you have in your hand? What are you holding on to? What are you holding on to, beloved? What are you holding on to? What's in your hand? What do you have in your hand? I'm going to put something in my hand. What do you have in your hand? I have a little time thing right here. What do you have in your hand? What's in your hand? And then so uh, Moses replied, I have a staff. And the Lord said, throw it down. I'm going to tell you today to throw down what you have in your hand. Just throw it down. Throw it down. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go for the glory of God. What do you have in your hand? Now we know that the staff here represents what Moses leaned on, what he walked with. I need you to walk with me in the spirit. What he leaned on, what he walked with, what um, became a companion for him uh, when he grew weak. What do you lean on? Is it is it smoking a joint so you can get your mind together? Is that what it is? Is it a little, you know, Hennessy? What, what is it? What is it? What is it that you lean on that you walk with when you get weak, when you want to be comforted? Is it food? It might be food. What is it that you need to throw down? Some Twinkies? What do you need to throw down? You got to throw down. You can't go to Cinnabon no more. You got to throw it down. You can't, you can't show up at KFC and get a, and get a five piece no more. You can't do that. You got to throw it down because now you need to pick up and be mindful of your health. You need to be, because you, you are now mindful that this body does not belong to you. This body belongs to God and you want to take care of it. You want to extend your life. What is it that you need to throw down? What do you need to throw down from your past that has become a crutch, that has become a staff, something that you lean on? Blaming your parents about
father left when you were three years old. You don't know who he is. Your mother gave you away. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Please tag, share, delete. Not delete. Lord have mercy. Please tag, share, and invite someone uh, to be a part of this. I know it's going to bless someone. Let go. Let go. What do you have in your hand? What is that? I told you to come this morning with a list of things you need to let go of because we're going to have a committal service. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. What is it that you need to let go of? What's in your hand? I have this little time thing here. What's in your hand this morning? God is, God, time is not promised. Time belongs to God. What do you have in your hand that you need to let go of before this minute clocks down into the next area? What do you need to let go of? What do you need to let go of? Think of it. Get it in your mind. I need to forgive someone. I need to forgive my ex-husband. I need to forgive my ex-wife. For real, forgive him this time. For real, because the love that God has for you that he wants to send to you, he can't send it. What do you need to let go of? I know there are many of you who have lost loved ones uh, in this season, in this year. But letting go of in your mourning process, start to celebrate who they were in your life and let God want you to live. And I pray that they are the, the the spouse that has transitioned. My hair is doing something crazy, y'all. And yeah, <laughs> the the spouse that has transitioned, the 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 parent that has transitioned, the loved one that has transitioned. You have to let them go and be with Jesus. You have to let them go so that you can live. So that you can live and live. I know it's hard. I know it's hard. I know it's hard. I know it's hard. I have two friends this week, this week in the last two days that have lost, lost loved ones. And it's too fresh. It's too new to even tell you to let them go. But there's someone right now in your family that is on a life support system and they're hanging on for you. They're waiting for you to ask them or to tell them, go ahead on home, mommy. Oh my God, I can't even imagine. I don't want to imagine. Go ahead on, honey. Go ahead, be with God. That you don't have to throw down. You can place them in the hands of God this morning and be comforted to know that he has a plan for you. He has a plan for you. But what is it that you need to let go of this morning? What do you need to let go of? What do you need? What memory? What memory? That molestation, that person who touched you inappropriately, men and women, don't play because it's not just women. What do you need to let go of so that you can live? That hurt from your past, those past activities, I'm going to turn it again to give you time. What do you need to let go of this morning? What do you need to let go of? You need to let go of a dream deferred that's made your heart sick, that's made your heart sad. A dream that if you let it go and give it to God, God will re-resurrect it. Hallelujah. He'll resurrect it and he'll give you a bigger, better, greater dream. I always say bigger, better, greater, and more. Hallelujah. Whatever you have lost, God will replace. Whatever you have given up for the kingdom and for his name's sake, he will replace. You got less than a minute. What do you need to give up? Give up. Give it up this morning so you can go into 2018. Give it up this morning. Give up a false burden, take carrying somebody else's burden, somebody else's problems, that now their problem has become your emergency. Their mistakes, their mishaps, their lack of good judgment and choices has now become your issue. And now you carry their burden. If it's not a burden that God has placed on you or placed in your heart, it becomes a false burden. And you're carrying something that God didn't tell you to carry. What do you need to let go? God's giving you time this morning. So the word, the word of the Lord says that Moses chapter four, Exodus chapter four, starting at about verse three, uh, Moses said, this is a staff that I have. This is a thing that I depend on. I depend on excuses. I depend on my money. I depend on my job. Instead of depending on God, I depend on my husband. Your children have become your life and you don't even have a life anymore. What's your favorite color? Do you know it? Do you know your favorite color? You, what's your bucket list? What's on your bucket list, beloved? Your children, your spouse, women, your husband, everything has become who you are and who your existence is. But who did God say you are? And what did God say? What purpose you are so to fulfill? Brother, your shoes, your car, your job. You don't even get to go to church no more on Sundays because you're trying to go play golf. It's football season. You're trying to watch the game. It's basketball season. What, what happened to the house of the Lord? 
You wouldn't have that car. You wouldn't have that house. You wouldn't have that wife. You wouldn't have them kids. You wouldn't have that money if it wasn't for Jesus. You wouldn't as a believer. I know. I know you think you think your talent and your skill open that door for you. Nah. Nah. I'm not buffering on my end. You guys said you're buffering. If you're buffering, let me know because I'm not buffering on my end. It it seems to be a very uh, strong um, connection. One, I need to also know that you can hear me. Okay, amen. So, so what is it? What is it that you're holding on to? What is you? What are you leaning on? What is your crutch? What, who? And let me ask you this: Who are you enabling? Who have you been enabling in 2017? Life. Who have you been enabling? You need.